You can't tell by watching her now, but a year ago, Susan McIntosh had a stroke. She was paralyzed on her right side and was unable to speak. And I came downstairs to feed the dogs, and I dropped the bowl of dog food. And I couldn't figure out why I dropped it. I thought, you know, I feel kind of funny. I'm going to go in the living room and lay down. And I got about to hear and just fell on the floor. When Susan got to the hospital, it had been three hours since her symptoms first started. Too late to use TPA, the standard stroke treatment. But there was still time to use a new tool called Penumbra. By going up to eight hours, we're expanding that window of time that you can get a patient to the hospital and treat them. But you're also not giving them a strong drug necessarily, so there's a theoretical chance that you're going to have less chance of the bleeding. A catheter goes from a small incision in the groin through blood vessels up to the blockage in the brain. Penumbra suctions out the clot. A new study shows it restored blood flow in 82 percent of 125 patients. 60 percent were better neurologically. The first time with a device that we got the vessel open, you know, it was one of those things that makes you get the chills and you shiver and we were high-fiving everybody in the room because the patient starts talking to us and she had not been able to talk previously. That's what happened to Susan. He asked me how I was and I said, I'm fine and I could actually talk and then I could feel my fingers. She made a complete recovery. This is Jennifer Matthews reporting.